ProNav Angler GPS has two possible installation positions. The first position locates the GPS unit directly on the shaft of the trolling motor. For this position, we need a minimum clearance of 6 inches between the ProNav Angler GPS and the trolling motor collar. The first step is to remove the thumb screw. There's a pin here that holds the clamp assembly together and a collar that opens up. Position the larger sizing sleeve on the Makota Power Drive and Riptide motors. And now I'm going to align the ProNav logo with the portion of the sleeve that has the two ribs. I'm going to bring the clamp assembly around. This will allow me to replace the pin. And finally, I'm going to reinstall the thumb screw. You'll want to align the GPS unit with the head in the direction that the trolling motor is facing. In cases where you're running in rough water or the trolling motor shaft length is not sufficient to allow the 6 inch clearance, we have an optional insulation position that locates the GPS unit on top of the head of the trolling motor. We're going to route the GPS cable through the coil running from the base of the trolling motor to the head of the trolling motor. We're going to connect that to the cable coming out of the GPS unit. Now that we have the GPS cable routed, we're going to connect the adapter to the foot pedal plug located at the base of the trolling motor. If you wish to use your foot pedal with the ProNav Angler system, you can attach the female end from the adapter directly to the foot pedal. Now that we've got the trolling motor adapter installed on the trolling motor, we're going to connect the power supply cable. We're going to connect the power extension cable to the angler adapter. And finally, we're going to route these cables directly to the trolling motor batteries.